Hi everyone, it's Alejandra and I'm so excited to be doing this video. I just got back from doing a back to school supply haul at Dollar Tree, Walmart and Target. So my goal was to go to all three stores and try and find the best uh, I keep saying office supplies, but the best school supplies for under $20. So um, I went to all three stores and I just spent like two hours at each store trying to like rummage through all the bins and find the best stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best things that I found for under 20 bucks at Dollar Tree. And then tomorrow I'm gonna show you the same thing, um, except I'm gonna show you all the things I bought from Walmart for 20 bucks. And then the very next day, I'm gonna show you the same thing I bought at, um, not the same thing, but the best office or school supplies I bought at Target for less than 20 bucks. So it's gonna be a three part um, back to school supply haul video series here on YouTube. And and then at the very end of the three days, I am going to uh, donate all the school supplies I found to somebody who um, is going back to school that needs the supplies. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how this video series is gonna work. So let me show you exactly what I found at Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first item I found at Dollar Tree were these wall decal um, flower stickers. And I thought they were so fun, um, just like the color is fun, the pattern is fun, they're removable, and I just thought they'd be perfect for a locker door or on top of your binder or on a notebook or something. So you get some on the front and you get some on the back also. So I thought that was a great price for a dollar. So everything I'm gonna show you has a little price tag that I uh, created myself. I wanted to do that because I mean, in this haul, everything's a dollar, so everything's gonna say a dollar, but in tomorrow's haul and the next day, um, the haul, not everything's a dollar, so it'll be, like, it'll make more sense why I did that tomorrow and the next day. But anyways, this was a dollar, and I thought that was a great price. Okay, the second thing I found was lined paper. Um, now, I learned that the dollar store is not the best place or not the cheapest place to get paper, uh, which I'll show you tomorrow's in tomorrow's haul where I found it cheaper, but the dollar store does have 150 sheets for a dollar. Okay, so the next thing I found was this clear binder pouch from the dollar store. Now, it's kind of similar to the, the uh, gusseted binder pocket that I've shown in my warranties and manual binder, except it has a, um, a zipper on the edge, not a Velcro snap. So it's a little bit different, um, but they had a, a big selection there and they had them in different colors and it's a little bit gusseted, so you can kind of see here. So you could fit like a stack of papers or you could put your composition notebook or flat school supplies, like stickers or, uh, I don't know, anything flat. But anyways, I found it in clear and then I also found it in pink. They had red, they had green, they had blue, they had purple, um, lots of different colors. Okay, so the next thing I found were these fun folders that come two to a pack. Dollar Tree had so many just like cool patterns that were nice and colorful. So this is a checkered colored one and then the second one that comes in this pack is um, like a green, blue, and yeah, green, blue chevron pattern. So these were so fun, like two for a dollar. It's a great price. Okay, so the next thing I found was this one subject aqua colored notebook. So they had a few other colors. I forget what colors they had, but um, this was the prettiest one. Now, I loved this notebook. I'm really picky when it comes to notebooks. Um, I like when the paper is perforated on the edge, and this is, I don't know if you can see that, but it has the perforation here, and the lines are nice and dark. So this is gonna sound really weird, but I love notebooks with dark lines because when you write on it, I feel like it looks neater and more organized. <laughs> and so these lines are nice and dark. And a lot of notebooks don't have dark lines, so it's actually kind of hard to find. So Dollar Tree had nice dark lines. Okay, the next thing I found was this fun chevron composition notebook. Like how fun is this pattern and these colors? Like if this was my math composition notebook, I feel like I would be more excited to go to math class just to use my fun notebook. Um, so this was a dollar and it has nice dark lines. Okay, so the next thing I found were these fun neon colored index cards for a dollar. I thought this was such a great find. I love using um, colorful index cards because I feel like for studying, if I color code my index cards, I have an easier time memorizing information because I'll remember, I'll associate what I'm supposed to say with what color index card is on. It sounds kind of weird, but it's so helpful for me. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, that is, um, that's a great find. Okay, so the next thing I found was this mini purple stapler that comes with 500 staples. I feel like it's always great to have a mini stapler like in your pencil case or in your backpack or your locker in case teachers don't staple papers. Okay, so the next thing I found was an eight pack of blue ballpoint pens. Um, these were the nicest pens that I saw. I have not tried them out yet. I didn't want to open them because I'm planning to donate the supplies. But, um, but yeah, these were the nicest ones I saw. 
And then the next thing, it's another pack of pens. It's made by Pentel, so they're kind of like, you know, name brand. Pentel makes good pencils and pens and stuff. Um, but I actually, I thought these were pencils when I picked them up and then I got home and I realized they were pens. Okay, so the next thing I found was a four pack of highlighters. Now, I'm not really picky with my highlighters. I feel like if you don't get like the name brand highlighters, it's not really a big deal. I feel like a highlighter is a highlighter. So I feel like this was a good deal. Four for a dollar and you get a yellow, an orange, a pink, and a purple. I, I personally like the yellow um, highlighter the best because I feel like these colors are so dark. Um, but I don't know. It depends what it looks like when it's open. Okay, so the next thing I found was a black marker. I feel like everybody needs at least one good black marker. And Dollar Tree sells the Sharpie kind, which are the best kind, in my opinion. Okay, so the next thing I found was this notepad of really pretty color paper. And I feel like this is different from like the neon colored note cards, because I feel like this is more for studying and this is more for like writing notes to your friends or I don't know, just like jotting things down. Maybe you keep this in the, um, the small compartment in your backpack for note taking. I don't really know what, what I would use this for, but I felt like this was a really good deal. You get so many different fun colors, you get a hundred sheets and it was a dollar. Okay, so the next thing I found was this mesh silver magnetic locker organizer. So all you do is you stick this on your locker door, it's, it's uh, magnetic on the back and uh, you put pens, pencils, markers and things. All right, so the next thing I found was a four pack of one and a half inch by two inch sticky notes. So you get 400 sheets total for a dollar and you get fun colors. Okay, so Dollar Tree had a lot of pencil cases. Um, I tried a lot of them, like I tried the zippers, I tried the boxes, and the only one I really liked was this one. Um, it has a good zipper, like it actually has a really nice zipper. Um, it's a fun color. The only problem is on the other side is a pattern, it's a Disney pattern. So if you're not a Disney fan, or you know yeah if you're not a disney fan then you're probably might not go for this um but i feel like you could just like easily cover this with stickers wall decals uh duct tape washi tape or something or painting it i don't know somehow get creative and cover this if you're not a disney person like i feel like i would not use this if i was in high school but uh, like i said if you get creative you can figure out a way to cover it but i just feel like it has a really nice zipper and i feel like it's a good size you could put all your pens pencils in here um eraser and you know a few other things could fit in here i actually liked it so much that i actually got two of them and i figured okay well we can just get creative and cover the other side so this one is uh superman so again if you're not a superman person you know just cover it i'm sorry it's not even superman it's spider-man all right, I haven't seen either movie, so yeah, <laughs> it's uh, Spider-Man. But anyways, it has a good zipper, and I, I feel like, you know, maybe if you put your pens and pencils in here, you could put your colored pencils and your markers in here and kind of spread them out. So again, you have to get creative on the cover if you don't like Spider-Man or if you don't like Disney. Okay, so the last thing I found was this locker mirror. It has a magnet on the back, so you just stick it on the door um, for only a quarter. So every once in a while, I will go to Dollar Tree and like random things are sometimes always a quarter. I don't know why, but it's not, it doesn't happen very often, but it happened with this locker mirror. Um, yeah, it was only a quarter. It has a fun pattern, mirror right here, and it's magnetic on the back. So I feel like that was a total steal um, because locker mirrors are sometimes expensive. Okay, so the total cost of everything you see here was $18.30 from Dollar Tree. That is unreal for all of these things. I feel like I went there and I picked all the best things I could find. I spent literally two hours in the store just rummaging through the bins um, and I feel like I just got really great things. The only two things that I did not get that I would need if I was going back to school was a um, binder and dividers because I feel like I did not like the selection they had. Um, so I would probably have to go to a um, you know different store to get those two things, but I got everything else that I would need. So tomorrow I'm going to be posting part two of this back to school supply haul and I'm going to show you the best things I got at Walmart for less than 20 bucks. And then the next day I'm going to be posting part three of this, um, this back to school supply haul and show you the best things I got at Target for less than 20 bucks. So it just goes to show you do not have to spend a lot of money to get um, good back to school supplies or fun back to school supplies. If you just shop around, you can find really awesome things. So if you want to see part two and part three, you can come back to tomorrow when I'm um, posting them on my YouTube channel. All right, I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.